Hello and welcome to today's video. Settle in, grab a cup of tea. It's going to be a slightly longer video today because I have a number of products I want to show you. So, it's coming up to Christmas. I know, like, it feels like last Christmas, actually it feels like Christmas 2019 was just a few uh, weeks ago. Uh, and yet here we are, end of 2021. Coming up to Christmas, um, a lot of us have either friends who are into fountain pens or people we want to introduce to fountain pens. And so I thought today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about some gift ideas that I thought make nice gifts for pen people. So, uh, first thing I want to say is that I'm not going to talk about pens. Um, pens are very personal, um, but there's a few products here that, uh, as I said, I think pen people will enjoy. Let's get started. I'm going to start with ink. So when it comes to ink, there's a brand I love called Robert Oster Inks, uh, Robert Oster Signature Ink, and this is an Australian brand. Uh, Robert makes amazing inks, and some of his best inks are blue. Now, Robert inks, Robert's inks are well known the world over. Um, and the two I'm going to show you today are similar, um, but I think are great for someone who is a pen user because they're a colour that... Uh, has a bit of personality, but also is usable. So the two I've got here are Soda Pop Blue and Blue Water Ice. And here they are on some cards. So you can see they're bright, vibrant blues, but both with a bit of sheen, which is nice that, you know, like if you want to show some ink off to, you know, people. Now, why have I chosen these? Well, firstly, I want to support Australian brands and Robert is one of the great ink companies worldwide and he comes from Australia. Secondly, um, they're different enough to have personality. And these are not two of the absolute standard Robert Oster inks either. Um, you know, Fire and Ice or something like that. These are two that are slightly different uh, and have a lot of personality. The next ink I want to show you is from Kiwi Ink. Now, Kiwi Ink is an American company. They can make a custom ink to a colour you want. And so I got this one made, which I have nicknamed Hurricane Purple. I go for the Hobart Hurricanes, which is a cricket team based in Tasmania. Um, and they wear a purple uniform. So I got a purple that sort of matched their uniform. Once again, here it is on uh, some card. You can see it's a lovely purple. What I did was I gave them um, the code and then they produce the ink. So these are great if you've got someone who has like a sports team that they love. You can get a custom ink made to that colour. Or, you know, they've got a favourite colour and or a particular colour they're interested in. It's easier and nicer than going and buying, you know, a bottle of that ink colour from another brand because uh, this is something that's a little bit more personal to them. The last thing I want to suggest uh, is something that is, I suppose, more aimed at the newer user, and that is getting like an ink sample package. The one I have here is the Platinum Ink Classics sample package from Pulp Addiction, which is a retailer here in Australia. But lots of companies do these. Goulet have been doing package deals for a long time. You can get packages based on brand, on colour, on property, uh, certain people's favourite inks, all those kinds of things. Um, so getting ink samples uh, and packages, packets like this, or sets, is a really great way of you know getting someone started or introducing them to a new brand or um, make up your own go and go and search on a website and find a bunch of ink samples that uh, you think are nice or that inks that you love that you want to share with people all that kind of thing ink sample packages are a great gift idea because you can personalize them they have a lot of variety uh, and they're actually pretty decent value if you're going to do ink samples the next product I want to show you is a product that I use all the time with my samples. It is this. This is made by Tiltwell, um, has a, an Etsy page and things like that. It is an ink sample holder. So you just put the ink sample, I'll actually do it for you right here. Why not? Because, you know, that's what videos are for. You put the ink sample in there. It sits in there very safe and uh, you can use a glass dip pen or a brush pen or fill your pen using it. It's great. It also means that they're stable. You're not going to knock it over as easily. This is a 3D printed uh, item and there's a range of different colours of these available. It can also work as a pen stand, you know, if you want to put your pen standing up in there. Um, or if you're running out of ink at a bottle, you can pour it into here and it sits in the, uh, in the bottom 
and then you can fill up deeper because it's got a sort of a conical bottom in there that you can uh, get the nib further into and then you just pour using the little spout pour it back into the sample vial or bottle depending on what you're doing really great product simple elegant um, solution to a couple of different issues um, and really pretty affordable so the Tiltwell uh, ink sample stand we've covered ink now we're going to cover paper now the first product i want to talk about is a product that uh, is a refillable notebook it is the traveler's company um no traveler's notebook this is the large size uh, also comes in a passport size and basically this is a system where you using um a little like little pieces of elastic and those kinds of things try and you secure a collection of um, notebooks into uh, this cover. And what that gives you the ability to do is to have a modular notebook system. What I tend to use it for is have one for one, like have a diary in one, have a to-do list in another, project you know, books, that kind of thing. Um, and beautiful leather cover, lots of little accessories like credit card holders and things like that you can do in it. Great for travel, hence the Traveler's Notebook. And then you just buy the little refills. This is the Traveler's Company refill. A bunch of other brands do them. If you go on Etsy, there's lots of independent people doing interesting things with the inserts. Um, but if you find this sort of Traveler's Notebook size, um, you can get a large range of these and they're pretty affordable. So you buy the cover, it comes I think with a notebook and some elastics. Um, you can personalize that as you can see, I've, I've put a, a thicker orange elastic on mine. Uh, lots of different notebook options, sketchbooks, as I said, diaries, calendars, all those kinds of things. So a really great modular system. In fact, there are other, I've made other videos about uh, this system on my channel if you wanna check them out. Really great system uh, if you've got someone who is a note taker, a list maker, um, someone who loves to be organized or someone who eventually will be traveling again. Um, this is a great system because of that modular nature. Um, because you can have those other books for different projects and different uses. Uh, when one is filled, you just replace it um, when you're done with it. It's a really, really great, wonderful system from the Japanese company. Then standard sort of notebooks. So I've got a soft cover or well, semi soft cover one here and a harder cover one. The semi soft cover one here is the Greenwood uh, Journal. Greenwood is a Melbourne based company, another Australian one. I'm getting a, a plug here today. Um, they can do embossing on the cover, all those kinds of things. Lovely uh, fountain pen friendly paper um, in these notebooks. They have lined, grid, uh, blank options available. Um, and just really well made nice notebooks. Uh, I traveled with one for most of this year. I was very lucky to be touring um, with with an opera and use it as my everyday planner. Um, it holds up really well. They age beautifully. Um, just a really, really lovely, good quality and affordable notebook. The next notebook we're looking at is the Dingbats notebook. This is A5 plus, so it's slightly bigger than A5. Um, once again, really good quality paper. This company has a social conscience, so they're completely vegan, which, you know, if you want a leather covered notebook, you can get one. This one is, you know, basically it's fake leather um, and it has all the standard features, pen loops, um, elastics, really high quality paper once again, like super high quality paper. Um, it's off-white, there are different line and dot options and things like that, as well as a range of different covers that feature different animals. Um, so I've got the elephant here, of course. Uh, there's a, a beautiful one with a kangaroo on the front. And there's a, yeah, I think there's some like other wildlife ones as well. And they actually give a portion of all sales uh, to a wildlife fund. So a company with a social conscience, which I really enjoy and support as well. Now I wanna talk pen cases, and I've got two here uh, that I am gonna suggest in this first instance. This is one called the Nocco Sinclair. This is a really simple, uh, everyday carry notebook and uh, pen cover uh, carry. You open it up and there's a few little pen sleeves in there and then a pocket here. This fits um, passport size or field note size notebooks, as well as having a big opening in the middle there. So you can put your three pens in, no worries put a notebook in there and still have space for a few other bits or notebooks in here or your phone or whatever the case may be. It's got a great quality zip. 
really good quality zips, a YKK zips as you can see there on the zip. Um, beautiful nylon material, lots of colors available. Um, Knock also have a, a huge range of other cases, uh, so check out Knock Co. This is a nice one, I think, because it you can carry a notebook in it as well. So really lovely, durable carry case for everyday needs. The next pen case I have here today is from Galen Leather. If you have watched my channel, you will know how much I love Galen Leather. These guys do it right. Beautiful quality leather. This is crazy horse brown leather. Strong zips. And then you open it up and it's got these two covers that go over the top of where you put your pens. So these have elastic slots for 10 pens. This is the 10 pen case. They also do three, five, 20 um, and upwards of that uh, in different sort of formats. So this one, you put your pens in the sleeve, they're covered, protected, and then zipped up and kept very, very secure. What I love about Galen Leather, a few things. Firstly, the company is lovely. The people are just a delight to deal with and their customer service is great. Everything is handmade using really high quality products. Um, their ethos of that is wonderful. And you know what? They are super reasonably priced. You will not get leather products made this well um, at this price anywhere else, really. I don't think. So Galen Leather, um, so this is the 10 pen case, lots of different options. Pen cases, notebook cases, all that kind of stuff, like really worth looking at uh, for gift options for pen lovers. And also there are a few retailers that stock uh, Galen Leather as well as actually buying directly from Galen. So look at your uh, local online stores. I think um, Goulet have often have a range of, of uh, Galen products, really worth looking into. The next couple of things I want to talk to you about. One is a is a range of products from a brand called Lockby. This is their uh, Navy Field Journal. Uh, it's a it's a notebook cover, really, um, and it's a it's a notebook system as well. You get these little A5 notebooks and you put them over the you know elastics. It's similar to the Traveler's Journal, a uh, Traveler's Notebook in a lot of ways, um, and you can have a number of them in here as well as other pockets. Lockby have a range of really interesting canvas products, pen cases, pocket journals, the tr travel journal here, tool roll. This is a system I really love. I will often carry this with one of my Greenwood journals in it, uh, as well as a couple of these, depending on what I'm working on at the time. A range of different ruling options available in this paper. Really well thought out products. Great, you know, the fastening clip I think is absolutely wonderful on this. Um, there's lots of little features that make their products super well thought out. They listen to feedback from their customer base as well. So Lockby, check out Lockby. Like Galen Leather in a way, this is a brand that has a lovely range of products. So check them out. Once again, great gift options for someone who, uh, you know, uses notebooks for work or uh, does hiking or that kind of stuff. Once again, weather resistant because it's a waxed canvas, will protect your stuff, super strong, durable, well made. Next thing I think you could do is get something to accessorize the desk of your pen using friend or relative. This here is the Good Made Better Craftsman Pen Well. Basically what you do with this is you put your pen in there and it turns it into a desk pen. It can sit on your desk and you just keep it in there and it's ready to go whenever you want. There are a range of these from Good Made Better as well as um, other brands who make pen stands. Another version I have here is this little wooden one from Galen Leather where you sit your pens across the top or this one from Tiltwell who made the uh, ink sample stand I showed before where once again you sit the pen in it. You can also get wonderful things like those beautiful cubes with the holes in it that you stand your pens up in. Something to accessorize the desk, personalize the desk of your fountain pen using friends. These are great gift options because there are so many different variations on this. Um, and while everything is personal and you can, you know, you need to decide on the look or design that might suit your friend, there's something that will uh, fit their need. And you can go into places like Etsy and find really interesting things or look at individual companies like Good Made Better um, who do these beautiful craftsmen.
The final gift idea I want to talk today is something I don't have on me, of course, because it is the idea of getting someone a voucher. If you cannot decide what to get your pen friend, get them a voucher. Most retailers will stock them. You can support a local company. You can support a local um, retailer and get a voucher for your friend or relative or whatever or yourself to get a pen or a pen stand or some ink or paper, whatever you like. And it's a great way of showing them that you care and want them to get exactly what they want. What do you do if you're trying to penable someone? You've got someone who has shown a bit of interest and you want to make sure that they get a good start in the fountain pen world. Well, there are lots and lots of options. I'm going to show you a couple today. First thing is, is the only time I'm talking about pens, is decent pens to get. A lot of people will start with Alami. This is Alami Safari. This is a, an edition that's not available anymore, but there are lots of different colors. You have a large range of nibs available. It takes proprietary cartridges and converter. It's a reliable pen, but it's not the only pen. The pens I'm showing today are pretty stock standard first pens. Another one is the Pilot Metropolitan. The Pilot MR, the Metro, whatever you want to call it. This pen is really well priced. It writes insanely well. It's got a range of fine, medium, and uh, well, I think mainly fine and medium nibs available, um, and a couple of different designs and colors and things like that. Super reliable metal pen, more classical in design. Um, uses proprietary cartridge and converter, and so you can get some cartridges for the, pe the person you're, um, you know, penabling and get them a converter so they can eventually use bottled ink. But setting them up with a couple of cartridges is a great way to get them started. If the person is a child, another pen from Pilot, they may be more interested in something like the Kakuno. The Kakuno comes in a range of different colours, uh, lots of bright colours and things like that. It once again used the same uh, nibs, uh, but has a little, you know, smiley face on the on the nib there. Cartridge converter, all that kind of stuff. Um, so good option, lightweight plastic pen. Um, but if you're wanting to get them something that is standard international cartridge converter, a, a good choice is the Kaweco Sport. Now, this is a pocket pen. It is smaller, um, but huge range of colors available, different finishes, even metal versions, the, the Sport um, AL. It's a small pen that converts into a really good size pen. The fact that this is reliable, it has a large range of nibs, standard international uh, cartridge, or you can get the Kaweco converter for it as well. Um, you can set someone up here with a really nice little pen that's interesting, that is traditional enough to make them feel like they're writing with a fountain pen, but is modern enough uh, to not be old fashioned, um, even though it actually has a long heritage in itself. So it's a really nice pen, as I said, international, standard international, which is a big plus uh, in this pen's book, in my opinion. And then if you want to do ink, a great thing, as I said earlier, is the sample sets. Buy samples, get samples, you know, sort of a, make a little set yourself or buy a set um, that is set up by a, a retailer like these ones from Pulp Addiction. Um, and also places like um, Goulet Pens, who do these ink sample sets. Someone with a sample set like this can use a converter on any of these pens, Pilot, Lamy, Kaweco, whatever the case may be, and get to know a few inks, get to know what they like, find their personality. And a lot of times, uh, people who are just getting into the pen, fountain pen world, really do enjoy using ink samples because they had no idea what was around, no, what was available, what is actually uh, in the ink world. And the last product, well, almost the last product, a very important thing for a new pen user is good paper because a paper will make the difference between them enjoying it or not. If they go and write on terrible student note paper or printer paper, they're not going to enjoy the experience of the colour on the page. It'll feather, it'll bleed, it'll be messy. Get them good paper. Rhodia, Clefontaine, Tomo River, Midori. Find paper that is really fountain pen friendly. Go and speak to a, if you're not familiar with it yourself, go and speak to a retailer. Um, go into a store and or phone a store and talk or ask questions in these sort, types of videos. Um, there's a lot of really lovely fountain pen paper around. Rhodia here is a great 
brand because it is widely available. Uh, it's 80 gram uh, paper, but it is really fountain pen friendly. Uh, it comes in, there's dot versions, line versions, grid versions, blank versions, a couple of different kinds of, many different kinds of notebooks, everything from little staple bound notebooks through to um, large hardcover notebooks and diaries and planners and things like that. So lots and lots and lots uh, that is available through Rodeo. So it's a really, really great place to start. And then one thing that shouldn't be overlooked for any pen user, the bulb syringe. If you're getting a, a, a new pen user set up and ready to go for fountain pen use, this is gonna be their friend. This makes cleaning so much easier. You insert this where you put the ink cartridge or converter in a pen, and there's lots of videos about this once again online, so check them out. Press it, put it in water, fill it up, squeeze it through the, convert, the section in through the nib, and it cleans the ink out. It'll save time, and anything that saves time and makes the job easier is gonna help make someone want to be part of this hobby. So go to a chemist, some fountain pen retailers sell them, but these are available at a, at a chemist, a bulb syringe or ear or nose you know, syringe, bulb, whatever you wanna call it. Lots of different names for it, lots of different brands, lots of different sizes, but it's gonna be one of those things that any fountain pen user is gonna um, swear by, uh, and also, if they're not familiar with it, will love it when they start using it. So I hope you found this video about um, gift ideas for the fountain pen enthusiast in your life or the new fountain pen user interesting and useful. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore Osage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here. Please feel free to ask questions. If you've got gift ideas that you think are great, share them here. If you've got questions about what you should get for people, you can't find the right thing. This community is really helpful, so don't be afraid to ask. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, like a number of these brands have, which um, is really, really appreciated, I would love to hear from you. It's your support that makes this channel possible. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and your stationery. Enjoy choosing lovely gifts for your friends and family. And I'll talk to you soon.